Well, the Yankees' bullpen options get even thinner because Hector Neris has signed a one-year, $9 million contract with the Cubs. And then there is an option for a second year. It's a club option for nine years. And if Hector Neris pitches at least 60 appearances, it becomes a player option. And the total deal can be worth around $23 million in total with incentives. So <clears throat> Hector Neris was someone that it was rumored the Yankees were targeting. It made some sense. He was coming off of a great year. And the Yankees do need bullpen support. But you have to remember for the Yankees, any money that they spend is being taxed at 110%. So if they spent $1 right now, then they would have to pay 210 So if the Yankees signed Hector Neris to this contract, they'd essentially be paying him over $18 million just to be a reliever, not even the closer, which is a lot of money. So it makes sense why the Yankees decided not to get Neris. But at the same time, the Yankees need to trade for trade or sign some relievers. I think it would make a lot of sense for the Yankees to bring back Wendy Peralta and Keenan Middleton. <clears throat> they, we know that they are successful in New York. Middleton was great in a short time with the Yankees. Peralta's been good for three seasons now. It just makes a lot of sense to bring them back. But at the same time, I'm not going to question the Yankees too much about the bullpen. It is the Yankees' biggest strength. The front office finds guys like Ian Hamilton, who was a non-roster invite to spring training, and all of a sudden, he's one of the better relievers in MLB. Wendy Peralta was a nobody when they traded for him. Clay Holmes, same story. So, the Yankees are good when it comes to the bullpen, and I'm not going to be mad at them not getting Hector Neris, because I trust what they're going to do. At the same time, it would be reassuring if they brought back Peralta and Middleton, just because you know they're going to be good. Yes, I, I have faith in the Yankees and what they do with the bullpen. At the same time, Peralta and Middleton are almost guarantees to be really good in pinstripes. So, who knows what the Yankees will do with the bullpen. I could easily see them pivoting and getting Peralta, getting Middleton, and hey, just bringing those two in will probably cost the same amount as Hector Naris would have costed. So that would be a really smart move if you can get both of them for the price of Naris. But at the same time, if the Yankees decide to make some trades for some random guys, do some non-roster invites, I'm going to trust it. But another Yankees free agent target is gone.